viewers and learners welcome to code to link in today part four of the series i'm going to talk about how to get responses from ms forms we need to look at a set of particular settings here and how to set time limit using microsoft forms so here i have a demo quiz ready and what we need to do today is we need to go here to these three dots as you can see more form settings moment you click on those three dots you have some options let's go to settings and you can see here who can fill this form so anyone with the link can respond so if you have want people from outside your organization to respond where well, you click on this particular thing otherwise if they are people from your company or your school or college or a particular organization then you need to click here the next option given here is record name moment I click on record name what happens is when you receive the response you receive the form with the name of the person this is really very important you need to know if you if you're a teacher and you have distributed the form you would like to know which student has responded to the form right so that's here record name if you don't tick this you will not receive the responses along with the name of the student or the name of the person next here is one response per person when you tick that what happens is the person who is responding to your form cannot give you more than one response this is so very important one response per person On, once the person has submitted the form he or she cannot try it once or all over again to respond to give response to the form excellent feature this is next is accept responses when you when your form is ready you don't it have it anymore as a draft you click on accept responses it initiates the start date and the end date as you can see here See, there are options like start date and end date if I click on start date you have the option of setting up a date when you can start your form so here I have today's 11 say 12th tomorrow I want this form to be given out say at uh, around 1 o'clock okay so I'll select that particular time yes and then end date if I'm a teacher, I would prefer, say, within half an hour of the submission of the form, I want it back. So this is how I've distributed the form. At 1 o'clock, I would re require it with the response by 1.30. So that's how I've set the time. If you don't want it on the same day, you can change the date here to, say, the next day or one week or the way you like it. So here I have gone for 12th okay that's it you uh, can customize your thank you message but by default form also has there's inbuilt uh, thank you messages in forms uh, which are when the which the student or the recipient receives on the submission of the form and they are pretty good but in case if you want to customize your message well then you can type out your message here saying thank you or anything fancy you can write here Next, we have the few more options here, notification. If you want your form to reach to the recipient via email, then you click this particular option. It says, send email recipient to respondents. Okay, and when the response you receive, if you want it via email, then you click on this. It says, get email notification of each response so if you have distributed your form to say 10 people you get 10 different emails wherein you receive the response from each person so these are the various important options that i have uh, taken you through there's one uh, option here shuffle questions i'm going to make a separate video on this this is an important one so i'm going to make a separate video about this well then in the upcoming session i'm going to talk about how to share forms with others and more about share option in ms forms 
In the meantime, if you have liked what you have watched, do subscribe for my channel. It will give me inspiration to create more videos. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. If you like the video, also do mention it in the comment section. I'd like to hear from you.